here at Three Peaks Organics, we are certified organic blueberry farmers. Here at the farm in the Tamar Valley at Holwell, we supply fresh, frozen and freeze-dried blueberries. We bought the farm to over 10 years ago but we've only been seriously farming it for the last five years. Diversification for us has been a must with prices of blueberries going up and down as much as they do. So we've dabbled in the frozen and then gone into the freeze dried. Our markets are in Tasmania, the mainland, and we've just ventured in the last 12 months to overseas as well. We farm completely differently to most other people. We concentrate on flavour rather than yields on our bushes. So 14 different varieties at the moment is what, we're, is what we have at the farm and purely based on flavour. The Tasmanian market we manage ourselves, but the uh, mainland market is done through wholesalers. Our wholesalers found us and it was more through word of mouth about the actual berries themselves. Our major challenges here, of course, have been pests. Um, from, that's why we have the infrastructure that we've now got in place, the fences and the nets, those sorts of things. Pests and diseases is definitely an issue for us. The other challenge has been going from mainstream selling to organic selling, which a lot of people think is easy, but it's not always easy to convert over to organics. To other people that are considering organics, Really check your markets out first. Make sure you know what you're selling and what your difference is in comparison to everybody else. And ensure that the amount that you're growing, you're actually going to be able to sell. The challenge of putting in infrastructure and working out which way the business has, has needed to go, we were at the crossroads with all of that and I managed to get a Sprout Scholarship, which really helped us to have the farm where it is today, they were able to pull us apart completely and then to help us put us ourselves back together again. Definitely can't hide yourself away in, in isolation. Field days are the best thing that I can suggest to anybody that owns a farm. Even if you walk away with one thing that you to do differently at your farm makes all the difference, as well as touching base with other farmers that actually all end up having very similar situations and problems. So for us moving forward as a farm, we'll be looking at things like the Department of State Growth's Small Business Mentoring Programs that will help us to achieve some more of our goals into the future. We've come an awful long way in the last five to ten years. I'm not the same person, the farm's not the same farm and without people like Sprout Agri-Growth that have very kindly given us a, a low interest loan. Um, without that in order to be able to fix our infrastructure and to give us the confidence to keep going, I think we would have packed it in and moved back to the mainland.